Today I'm here at Whitewater the Canoe Center in Shepparton with my friend Pete Scott. We are going to be testing some whitewater footwear to find out which is going to make you fall over fastest and which is going to make you fall over slowest, but ultimately none of them are going to stop you falling over. But hopefully one of them is going to be better than the others for falling over. And we've got a very scientific test with this concrete slab and these five shoes to figure out what's what going to be the best. best water shoe currently on the market today. All right. Okay, so Pete, you're going to give us a run through of the five shoes that we're testing here today. What's this one? So the first shoe is the Palm Gradient. Uh, good kind of high cut to it. Lace front, nice kind of Vibram sole. Yeah, industry leading. Okay, great. Next up. Second up, 510, uh, what's it called? Um, tenny? Water Tenny? Water Tenny. Water Tenny. Water Tenny. 510 Water, to come up with that in the video. 510 Water Tenny. Really nice shoe, lightweight, really good 510 Spider Rubber. So, great shoe. Third, Astral Razzler. Again, uh, with the uh, 510 uh, Spider Rubber Sole. Slightly wider cut, top shoe. Now, the, these guys have a new, there's a newer version of this shoe available in the US now. Yes, but in the UK, this shoe is still available. Okay. Or was available. At the time of recording, that was available. Fourth shoe is the NRS Velocity Boot. This features the uh, Idaho sole. Idaho? Yep. Uh, why is it called the Idaho sole? I think it's because Idaho means wear it. No, it's because if you look at the shape of Idaho, that's, I don't know which way around it goes. I believe it's uh, that, no, other way. No, other way. No, other way. No, I think it's this way. But that, that is the shape I'm of Idaho. Sure, I'm pretty sure that's the state of Idaho. That's the, the shape of Let's Idaho. Zoom in. Let's zoom in. I don't, if anyone from Idaho can confirm that, it'd be grateful. Yeah, nice little shoe. And last is our, just our little, our little tester, is our 999 uh, Beach Shoe Special. All right, lovely. Okay, so. Okay, so the test, the big test. We've got the shoes, we've got a concrete slab. We're gonna put the shoes on the slab and then we're gonna slowly lift it up until it gets to vertical and the shoe that falls off first is the loser. We're gonna do this kind of in a, a round robin style. So we're gonna have a shoe play off and then we'll see which one comes out as the top shoe. Uh, let's find out who wins and who loses in what, do you think we can call this Shoe Olympics? Shoe Olympics. We do, we would just like to say, we do realize this isn't terribly scientific, but yeah. In the interest of science, we did perform each test three different times uh, to try and get the same results. Um, we'll, we'll find out how that plays out. Ready? Yep. Instantly the velocity's moving. Oh! Oh, and it's the palm gradient that falls first. Nice and slow, nice and slow. Oh yeah. Here we go, mate. Oh! Now these should be pretty similar because they've got the same sole. Exactly the same sole, so. But they are different weights. Oh dear.
the winner of Shoe Olympics 2017, the Astral Rahazala. Yeah. Yeah, baby. Okay, great. I mean, it's a lot lighter. <laughs>